Hi, hello. Sorry that I am late for this. I did say on a few occasions on stream that I would try and start at midday today. Um, but I inevitably was running late. It's the story of my life. Um, I needed to do shopping. Um, I am off work today, so I needed to go to do some shopping because I had no food in the house. Just Huel, just Huel. Um, which in theory I could live on, but I didn't want to. Anyway, so my idea and my plan was that I wanted to to do a an introductory ish crossword, which I've heard the cryptic on the Guardian is um, an example of, and um, I wanted to do it because when we started out, there was a little group of us, and I was maybe doing half of an everyman. At the, at the, you know, not even half sometimes, and there was a lot of talking through clues, there was a lot of explanation, and as we were going along, the group were, were, um, were you know, learning to do them as well, and we've progressed to a point, I think, where we're doing very well with the Everymans, in my opinion, for an hour. And we're also now having a, a, a bit of a community going on where there's some experienced solvers in the chat as well, and I feel like we might be moving at a little bit of a quicker pace than we start. Well, we definitely are moving at a quicker pace than when we started. And I've seen in the last week or so, a few people that have dropped into a few crossword streams, mine and a few others, and they've said, how do I learn? And I felt like that meant that people didn't think that they could use the stream to learn anymore, um, which made me a bit upset. Not upset, but it made me think, you know what? That's why I wanted to do this. Um, so I'm gonna. I wanted to take a bit of a a slowdown, given that I had the day off. Um, I'm gonna do an every man after this, so I'm gonna do two two solves anyway. But this, I want to take um, a little bit um, slower, and I want to make it so that if we do get any of those guys in, I spoke to a couple of them and said, you know, I'm gonna be doing this on Monday. Maybe you can come join us, and maybe they will. And if not, I probably will try and get this. Um, upload it to YouTube as a attempt at a bit of a look we we, we uh, we're kind of trying to explain and go through it how that makes sense uh, I've got coke um but yeah it's just because it's just because I did see a Honestly, a, a, maybe two or three, I think maybe three people have posted in them, how do I learn to do this? And I was hoping that people would feel like they could learn to do it from the stream. So anyway, so this is, this is Quiptic number 19. I do one every Monday, they're on like a thousand. I did 19 because 19 is my own lucky number. So um, it's, from, <laughs> it's from the year 2000. I don't know whether that's gonna cause problems. <laughs> March 2000. Maybe it will. Maybe we should do a more modern one. Should we do a more modern one? What about a thousand? What about a thousand and nineteen? Is there a thousand and nineteen? Hello, Hadouken. How are you? Let's do one hundred and nineteen. This is two thousand and two. A thousand and nineteen. A thousand and nineteen doesn't exist. What about nine hundred and nineteen. Nine one nine. Twenty two thousand and nineteen. Let's do this one. Okay, so this is Guardian Quicktick crossword number 919. Oh yeah, it's the afternoon. Of course it is. Um, right. Then let me full screen it. So I'm hoping that this crossword is going to behave itself. And I'm hoping that our rules that we know about are going to be adhered to to an extent now. Um, it is, like most things um, in life, rules can be broken and they will be broken in crosswords. And knowing when a rule has been broken can become part of how to solve them as well. But in general, for a crossword clue, we're going to have a cryptic part of our clue and we're going to have a straight part of our clue. And the straight part of our clue is going to be almost a synonym or a definition of what the answer is. And the other part of the clue is going to be a cryptic way of building up that answer, whether it be in an anagram, whether the word be hidden inside the answer, 
and whether it be what we call a charade where it gives you multiple different words that you put together alternate meanings for to build up your answer so there's different ways of solving and i'll try and explain them as we find them but in general what i find personally is that a cryptic crossword when you know the rules can become easier than a regular clue crossword because they only have one clue in a cryptic we have two ways of confirming our answer for every clue so for me i find that easier because once you get one answer you can explain the other and that kind of solidifies what your um what your um reverse crossword stream thank thanks for joining us today hopefully you do you do hang around for a bit if you if you um get any of the answers um and i hope that by the end of this you'll be able to find some um yeah and, and if i'm not if we, if we aren't explaining properly then please post it in the chat scruffy will help others will help us if as, as they start to um show up but also, if you do get any of the answers, we've got an emote which you have access to, Hadouken, which is this little got puzzle piece. Um, right, okay, so we'll just, what I normally do with these, I normally start at number one. Some people, when they pass a crossword, they'll go through a crosses, they'll go through first, and then they'll go through all the down clues. Some people will go, well, I've got first letters of some answers, and having the first letter of an answer can really help you to think about what the definition um, what the synonym of your definition might be because you you can you can well I'll show I'll show you as we go but if we look at one across and we'll just start here and um, take down a French exercise grudgingly at first okay right so I don't know the answer right now to this clue but and this is going to start sounding like it's going to be impossible to solve them I promise you once you get the rules in your head you'll you, you, it'll become kind of second nature, almost. I still can't solve an entire crossword puzzle sometimes, so you know I'm not an expert. But if we look at this clue, what we're looking for is we're looking for a definition or, or, or a straight clue, and we're looking for a cryptic clue. Now, my experience tells me that probably takedown is going to be our straight clue because a French can and often mean something like un or un because it's saying the word the letter a in french um exercise can often be pe because the school you know subject of physical education pe can, can be exercise um and grudgingly at first will probably be the letter g the reason for that is because we see this indicator here at first um, which can mean the first letter of something. If you see at first, start to, primarily, beginning of, anything that says the start of something is probably being used to indicate a single letter at the start of a word. Um, if you think about what the what the cryptic setter is trying to do, is they're trying to, this is an example of a, of a charade clue. They're trying to build up a word from tiny bits of other words. So when you're looking at it, uh, you kind of, you often kind of think, what is a short version of this? Like exercise, a short version of exercise is PE. Okay, Scruffy's got the answer. I've got the answer as well now. As I was talking through it, I realized what it was. So what we're looking for is a word that means take down. Or well, the definition of this clue is take down. And we're looking for a French exercise grudgingly at first. Now, the reason why I think take down is the straight clue. This is another thing, a trick that you can kind of use is that grudgingly at first is at the end of my clue and grudgingly at first is probably the letter G. Is the siren going on? Yeah it is, cool. Hello Chelsea. Chelsea um, Chelsea is our residence siren um, ringer. How are you doing Chelsea? Um, so what I was saying was if grudgingly at first is the end of our clue and our clue ends and our answer ends with a G, because a clue is built up of a straight part, which will always be the very beginning or the very end of a clue. The straight part of your clue is not going to be in the middle. That means that our straight clue must be at the start because we know that grudgingly at first is a letter G. So then we take away takedown from our, from our cryptic because that's our definition. And we say a French is probably un or un. And we say that the exercise is PE. So we put PE in to get peg. And well, we're only left with un for A, un or un, right? So we can't we can't fit you any in. And that builds up the answer unpeg. So A French un, exercises PE, 
and grudgingly at first is the letter G. So we build up our answer of unpeg, which um, means take down. You know, you're unpegging your washing, you're taking it down, you're unpegging something, you're taking it down. So our definition of a clue is take down. Um, so what, you, what you'll start to then find is, when you're doing it like this, um, that if you can narrow down what your cryptic part is and your straight part is, you can often just work out an answer from the letters on the grid and your straight clue. So let's look at, so three down is a short answer and it starts with a G now, okay? So this should hopefully mean, well, it won't mean that necessarily, but what we can what we can think is, well, if, we've, if we can work out the straight clue, then we might be able to just think of a definition of the straight clue or another synonym of the straight clue that starts with a letter G. And if we can think of that, we can then reverse engineer the um, the we can reverse engineer the cryptic part to explain why our answer is what we think it is. Um, let me just catch up on chat. Um, hi, um, Aiden. Aiden Guybrush um, has been one of the the people that I think has learned along with us to do cryptics, and one of the reasons why I wanted to go back. And, and try and take one a bit more um, slowly. Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, we're, we're learning today. So hopefully you're paying attention. Okay, so I don't know what the answer to this is, but one thing that I will say about this, this clue to start with is there's a few indicators here that I noticed straight away. One of them is prepare. So prepare could be an indicator that this clue has an anagram in it. The reason for that is prepare evokes the idea of messing around or moving things around or, or you know, arranging things. Um, any word that gives you this, this kind of imagery of rearranging, mixing up, messing around with, um, can, can indicate that you need to take an anagram. Hello, Julian. Hi. Julian's got this. Awesome. Um, so prepare... Julian, what I'm doing is I'm doing a cryptic. I explained it kind of at the start, but what I'm trying to do is go a bit more slow with the cryptic for some of the chat that are trying to learn. Because I feel like we, at the start of this stream, we were learning together and now maybe the pace has gone a bit too quickly for people to, to come in and pick it up. So I just want to make a bit of a slower, um, slower stream. Anyway, so I, I think that prepare could be an anagram indicator. The other thing that I've also noticed is that the word good is here after prepare. Now, in crosswords, fairly often the word good is just abbreviated to a letter G. That's just something that, again, there were quite a lot of words that will be abbreviated to single letters without any indication, which can sound really confusing because I just told you that, for instance, in unpeg, grudgingly at first means G. They could have equally in this clue written, take down a French exercise, good. The reason why they didn't is because the surface of a clue, as in the whole clue together, kind of needs to be a sentence. It kind of needs to make sense as a sentence. And so often the setters will embellish a little bit to make what they call the surface make sense. And the other thing to bear in mind about the surface is it can often be pretty misleading. The surface can can have imagery or words that are descriptive of a certain theme, but your answer has nothing to do with that theme um, because it's, it's trying to make you think in a different direction than the actual answer. So that can happen. So be careful about that. Anyway, so what this could be, and I don't have the answer, so I'm just thinking it through still, is it could be that our straight clue is, is prepare, and it could mean that then our clue starts good because there's a letter G, and then the rest of our clue is meal in a flash. Now, I'm not sure that's right, um, the other way this could work is prepare could be an anagram indicator. And if prepare is an anagram indicator, we need five letters. So, okay, I've just said that 
good could be the letter G. And we need five letters because that's how many letters are in our answer. So if you want to make an anagram, we need five letters. So we've got G. The next word is meal, which is four letters. So this clue could be saying prepare the G and the word meal together. So then give us a definition which or word that means in a flash or the inner flash is our straight clue to. Now I actually have just worked it out. So I'm gonna just see if chat has got it. Yep, yep, yep. So we've got um Guybrush has got it, Dark Goat's got it. Um anyone, Hadouken, any any thoughts? Um Chelsea, I'm eating. You can eat and think, right? You can eat and think. <laughs> the thing as well, Julian's just said he was going to post the Wikipedia link. That would be great. But the thing is that different setters and different crosswords do have different ways of doing it. Um, so I do. I, I, I normally do the Guardian Every Man. I'm doing a cryptic today, so there might be some curveballs in here for me. But there, there is a page. You can see that link hopefully in the chat. It's just on the Wikipedia. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about learning them. But if you hit a clue where you think, okay, this might be an abbreviation, use it as a resource to look up and see. Um, don't be afraid to use tools to try and solve crosswords at the start. Synonym, thesauruses, all sorts of things like that. You might start to learn things as you go and then become easier. Okay, so anyway, I don't know whether we're gonna see any more gots in the chat at the minute, so. I'm just going to um, fill it in. We're looking for an anagram of G and meal, and I think the answer is gleam for in a flash. Flash is gleam. Am I tricking you into doing homework? Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Um, so these two clues are quite long, and I don't want to try and tackle them at the start, even though we do have the first letters. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. So, make an announcement in favour of demand by Sun. Makes an announcement. So, my initial thought about this clue is going to be that makes an announcement is our straight section. Or it might just be makes. But I think the reason why I'm, I'm saying that is because at the end of a clue it says demand by Sun. Often the word sun is abbreviated to an S, so when I see the word sun, I think that's probably part of a cryptic clue. If it is, then that means that our word ends in an S. The trouble with that, as a theory, is we need, in favour of, demand by sun. Okay. So Scruffy's got it. So what we're trying to do here, this is, an, this is another um, example of a charade, I, I think. So we want makes an announcement. We want the word to end in an S because the last part of our charade says by sun. Sun is probably an S and it's the very last part of our clue. If the last word is an S, then that means that, that points us to the fact that makes an announcement or just makes is um, a a crimp and is sorry is our straight clue so we've got a straight clue and we want to build up an answer with in favor of demand and then by sun could the by could just be connector here it might not actually be part of our answer i mean it also could be part of our answer but often if it's going to say by it's just indicating that things are next to or near each other just to make that surface sentence there make a little bit more sense. Okay, so in favour of, we want a word that starts with P and means in favour of, probably. When we're breaking this down, in could be in. So it is, there is a chance that if we didn't have the first letter, our clue could just start with the word in. Sometimes, uh, sometimes a charade will have actual parts of the word, of the answer in there. So it could say in, and then something that's favour, so a short word for favour, but we're kind of always looking for short versions of the words in our clue if it's a charade. So I think, in fact I know, that in favour is pro. 
If it was against it, it might be anti. But we've got a letter, we've got a word that starts with with P. We've got in favor of in our in our clue. So I'm going to say it's probably pro. Now, I don't know exactly how this works for demand. But if it makes an announcement and we've got a word that starts with pro and ends in S, we can start to try and use our straight clue to think of possible answers. Um, uh, no, 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 actually chat, chat for sure, get involved. Please don't blur the answer out, but the chat's gonna be on, on, the, um, on the VOD and ideas are welcome. Although because I'm talking through and I think I know. So what I'm gonna say, and I might be wrong here, is I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna try and put claim, claim in because makes an announcement could be proclaims, right? I'm pretty sure it starts in pro and I'm pretty sure it ends in S. So now I'm saying, well, demand, claim, demand, claim, demand. Are those two words similar enough really to do a replacement? Personally, I'm not entirely convinced, but I think I think it could be proclaimed. So obviously saying this is what I thought the answer was. Let's, what I can do is I can do, I've got a little bot, so I can do synonyms of um, demand. And let's just see what we come up with. Now, if you want to Google a thesaurus, see whether you can find claim in there. And you can see, maybe you can see, anyway, it's sort of around here, or is it? Claim is in my in my synonyms. So for some reason, there's kind of a definition of claim and a definition of demand that overlap to the point where they can be considered synonyms. Um, I wasn't 100% convinced on that. But like I've just shown you, because I worked out pro and because I worked out S, I was able to take a punt that make, based on the fact that our straight clue is making an announcement that the answer might be proclaimed because obviously proclaiming something is announcing something. So I put claim in here and then I kind of reverse engineered it to say, okay, well, claim can mean demand. So right is in there twice. Oh, claim is in there twice. Claim, claim, summon. Claim, claim, summon, summons. Okay, fine. Anyway, it could just be two different definitions of claim that work. So we're doing good. We're doing, we're doing okay. We've got every answer that we've actually looked at the clue for, which is pretty rare for me. Although we have only done three. Um, so where to, where to next? Any thoughts in the chat? Should we look at four across because it's our next across? This is very long. Um, no abusive cop is possible. No abusive cop is possibly beyond reproach. I don't like this clue. I don't like this surface. I don't like it. But... But... My guess for this answer would be that we're looking for an anagram. Now, that's just a feeling I've got and that might not come straight away but because of how long the clue is if it was going to be a charade i would imagine it would have more words it'll be more wordy if it was hidden which we haven't seen yet um actually it'll be really good chat if you could find a hidden and i'll just go through that but um no abusive cop is possibly beyond reproach now i reckon possibly here would be our anagram indicator so when we've got an anagram normally and this isn't going to be 100 percent of the time but normally your anagram indicator, which um, I tend to portmanteau down to um, anagrind, so anagram indicator, anagrind, is a word that is telling you that some letters in your clue are going to make up an anagram of your answer. We still need a straight clue in here. So let's say that possibly here is indicating anagram. Possibly, again, imagery of, you know, this kind of thing could maybe be a rearranged to, to, to make an answer. Because we know the anagram is a method that could be used, and we see the word possibly, those two things loosely kind of suggest. Okay, we've got an anagram. We're looking for 14 letters. So the letters that make up the anagram, which tend to be called the anagram fodder, are gonna be either no abusive copies, or no abusive cop, and our anagram indicator is possibly, which could not be the case or beyond reproach. So I'm just gonna count letters here. Um, I think likely no abusive copies is gonna be our anagram indicator. Beyond reproach will be our definition 
But let's just have a look. Okay, so no one, so no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So no abusive copies is fourteen letters. So if we just double check with what the letters we've got in the grid already, we've got an O and an E. So if we've got an O and an E, there's an O and an E in this anagram fodder, this potential anagram fodder. So that kind of reinforces it to me a little bit. So possibly is our anagram indicator. And we're looking for a, an answer here, which means beyond reproach. The other thing that can really help with our clue to get our answer is the fact that this is this answer is two words. It's a five letter word and a nine letter word. So we're looking for a saying, a term, a, a, a couple of words together that commonly mean beyond rep beyond reproach. No. Now, we probably need to anagram no abusive copies to get it. Uh, and I am terrible at anagrams. So I'm doing this I'm doing this as a person that is, pardon me, Chelsea, thank you. I'm doing this as a, as a, a um, a suggested kind of <laughs> Chelsea what's the answer after my whole explanation please fill it in for me hopefully some, some more people have got it and I'm sorry that the pace of this is slow for our, our regulars but I really want to make something a bit approachable just in case you know for a start and then we'll race through the Everyman together as a, as a group, I think, when we get there. You could, Chelsea, come on, you could eat a scone and work out an answer. Anyway, I'm bad at anagrams. You might be bad at anagrams. That is okay. If you find an anagram and you know it's an anagram and you know what the potential answer is going to be as a straight clue, then personally, I have no issue with putting them into a solver. There's a great anagram solver. It's just called anagram-solver.net. And if you can't do them, one down is an anagram as well. We haven't got that. I don't get it. Thanks, Chelsea. Okay, so let me go. Let me let me let me talk about it again quickly because Chelsea's asking for a, a quick explanation. The word possibly in this clue can be an anagram indicator. Hey, hello, DQ. DQ's um, uh, a streamer on Twitch. Very handsome. Plays lots of cool games. Part of a of a pretty um, cool uh, Twitch team as well. Is the team the right word? Anyway, the real dark quark. You should check them out. Um, they don't do crosswords. They do actual fun games. So if you like fun and stuff, you know. Um, it's just the beard, man. The beard is, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> so a a, cro a crossword clue will tend to be, and I cannot promise you 100%, you will find exceptions, will tend to be two parts, a straight clue and a cryptic part of that clue. That means that if you can work out which what one part is, you can use it to confirm the other and vice versa. So in this, in in this instance, possibly is an anagram indicator. That means that because this is 14 letters and our answer overall is 14 letters that I think these words here are just anagram fodder. I need to anagram this to give me an answer, which means, or or the definition of that answer is beyond reproach, so a synonym or a suggestion that these two things mean or the same. The, the, the straight clue is not always a synonym, but, but often is. So I'm just gonna do an anagram solve on this because I'm bad at them. Now, some will argue that getting cross letters until you can work out the answer is the way to go. Maybe we could do that, but I'm not going to because I want to show you how to get the answers. So beyond reproach, an anagram of no abusive cop is to give us something that means beyond reproach. And you can see on my chat stream that I've just anagrammed no abusive cop is. And my anagram solver has told me that above suspicion is a potential answer so that works okay above suspicion is an anagram of no abusive cop is and it means beyond reproach right to to an extent if you're above suspicion you're beyond reproach the two things work as as, as synonyms so oh really ah oh, amazing i'm glad 
So above suspicion, if I spelt it right, I'm also I'm also by the way dyslexic and autistic and all sorts of other things. So um, I just I just like to say that because sometimes people feel like they can't spell, they can't do anagrams, they can't they can't do this and that, and, and that makes it that means I'll never be able to do cryptic crosswords. That doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that at all. There are tools available if you can understand the clues. There are tools available and there are, there's help available. So it's just not true that you won't be able to do them. Um, because you can't spell, because I, I am appalling at spelling. So I promise that is not necessarily a huge roadblock. I mean, it doesn't help, but you know, you can do it still. Yeah, okay, let's look at another anagram then. So if we look at one down, um, can I just, yes, yeah, let's do that. So not satisfactory to cancel pub tea randomly. So randomly, randomly here, that has, that has got to be an anagram indicator, right? Just bear in mind that almost every word can be an anagram indicator in the right circumstance, but also there are some that are fairly obvious. And there are some that seem very obvious and they're actually not an anagram indicator at all. Um, one of the like biggest um, culprits of being confusing is the word about. You will see about a lot. And about can be a replacement of the letter C for circa. So if you see about, it might just be the letter C. Um, if you see about, it could also be an anagram indicator. If you see about, it could also be an indication that you need to reverse a word because about could mean about face. If you see about, it could also be an indication that maybe you need to take a word and put it, split it apart and put it about another word. So about is a, is a, is a horrible one if you see it. but. If you know what it could be and you try all the things, then you know it, it, you can still get past it. But it's just one that tricks me a lot, a lot, because I get stuck on about meaning a certain thing and it doesn't. Um, anyway, so if randomly is our anagram indicator, and we then that's the end of our clue. So that means that the only place that our straight clue can be is at the start. So we're going to say our straight clue probably not just not. So we're, it's probably not satisfactory. And we can double check that by looking for our 12 letter anagram fodder. So if randomly is our anagram indicator, we want 12 letters that we can anagram together. Pub T is six. Um, wait a minute. Cancel is six. So pub T is six, cancel is six. So we have cancel pub T. So cancel pub T before the word randomly probably is saying, let's anagram the word. Let's anagram the letters, cancel pub T together to get something that means not satisfactory. Now, we've got a U and we've got an A in our answer based on the grid, and we've got a U and an A here. If you're on the Guardian, another thing you can do is this anagram helper. If you click anagram helper, it will put the letters that you already have in. So if I put in council property and I shuffle around, it's going to do all this. Now, I think I know the answer to this because not satisfactory that starts in a U and I can see a B in there. Anyway, so you can play around with that. You can use a solver. I think the answer is unacceptable. Is that right? Unacceptable. A, C, C, E, P, T. I reckon that's it. If I, if I take off the E, um, and I go and I go cancel pub tea. The only place that you can go is there, but it's not complaining that my letters don't line up, is it? So unacceptable. Because I'm not very good at checking that my letters are all right. The other thing you can do is because I'm on an old ver an old cryptic, and the, these archives are here. So you've got your cryptics, you've got your guardian dailies, you've got your guardian every man's on a Sunday. They're all here, there's also archives of many, many crosswords. And a lot of the, the the web tools actually allow you to just reveal an answer. So I'm just gonna click reveal, because I think that's the answer. I just wanna make sure I've spelt it right. I'm clicking reveal, it's not changing. Okay, so we got it right. Um, so next clue that jumps out to me, because we've got three letters for it, is gonna be 10 across. Did anybody find a hidden? Did anybody find one?
If I can't work out a clue, I sometimes just count letters in some of the clues to see if anything pings up that might work as an anagram folder. I sometimes find anagrams I've missed doing that. Yeah, yeah, another good thing. If you, if this word here was something obscure and it didn't immediately jump out to you as being an anagram indicator, as Dark Goat is saying, because the answer's 12 and cancel pub tea sounds like a really weird thing to say, that can, if you, if you notice that there's 12 letters there, you can just try and anagram it anyway, just because um, it might give you something that means not, not, not satisfactory and that could point you to an answer. Seven down. Okay, seven down, okay. There's another type of cryptic clue that we haven't seen yet on this grid, and it's called hidden. And they're normally the most frustrating ones if you miss them. Some of the easiest ones to get at the start. Um, and what you're looking for in a hidden as an indicator is something that's telling you that the words in your clue are hiding your answer. So we're still going to have our same pattern here of having a straight part of a clue and a cryptic part of a clue. So I'm reading this clue. I've been told it's a hidden, so I'm not going to be able to pass it like I normally would because I know it's hidden. But um, what you'll find, sometimes hidden word might be inside a single word. They're not my favorite. I prefer it when you have them going over two words. But in this clue here, the word content is telling you that the content of the next part of the clue is hiding your answer. So content to abolish outdated, and then a way of showing anger. So the way of showing anger here is our straight clue. So we're looking for a way of showing anger, and we're looking for a way of showing anger that's hidden, indicated by the fact that this clue says content. So it's telling us content. The most common that I've ever seen really of a hidden indicator is some. So if you see some of or some something, um, look between the next two words to see if you can see an answer. So terrible bullet hidden is about at least one letter. Yeah, so we have the letter O. So we've got the letter O here, which really, really helps us because we know that either it's going to be ugly because content abolished. We've got an O in the middle or it's going to be S H. O U T, which is shout. And is shout a way of showing anger? I would say yes. I'm pretty sure because I do it quite a lot. So, shout, which is hidden inside abolish outdated. So, I didn't even really read that surface. And that's something that I have tended to do because. Surfaces can be misleading. So I kind of immediately will look for indicators in a clue without really paying much attention to what the sentence is saying because they can point you in the wrong direction. That can be a downfall when you start to do more devious cryptic crosswords because sometimes there are certain type of clues where the surface is actually giving you a hint to the answer. But in this particular case, content to abolish outdated way of showing anger isn't overrule anything it's just content to abolish outdated is telling us that shout is hidden inside abolish outdated and then a way of showing anger is a straight clue um, so let's look at 10a Ooh. so is there anyone in my chat that wants to have a go at breaking this down I know we've got quite a few viewers. I don't know if they're all bots or something, but Chelsea, are you still eating your scone? Come on, Chelsea, you can do this one. Rach, Rach, are you here? Tell me how tell me how to do this. Um Hadouken. Hadouken, if you're still around, maybe from what we've covered, you may be able to um Chelsea, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Chelsea. Jane could be a disaster. The answer's not minty case he wondered. I know I know you've not really been paying attention to me, so maybe you can't do it. Yeah, Jane Austen. 
<laughs> Stone Cold Jane Austen. Okay, so. Are there any hidden indicators that you can see in this clue? Would you... Would you say that any of these words here might be telling you that there's an there's a hidden word? Does a hidden word even work with the letters that we've got, really? What about a charade? Maybe there could be. Well, we've got quite we've got very few letters here. So what about an anagram? Are there any words in this clue that indicate that there might be an anagram? I know I'm a little bit delayed, so I'm just waiting for an answer. Come on. <laughs> don't feel, don't, it's actually, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I'm looking at disaster and I'm feeling like disaster is Go for it, DQ, please. I've already said something though, but Sleepyown, is that Sleepyown? Am I saying that right? Let me know if I'm saying that right or if you prefer to be called something else. Sleepy, Sleepyown, Sleepy One, Sleepy One, Sleepy One, Sleep I One. Um, thanks for saying hi, thanks for getting involved. It's good to have you here. DQ then, I've already said that. I think disaster screams anagram, so if disaster is screaming anagram, I feel like we can come up with the fodder. And if we and, and because we know that because we're saying disaster is an anagram indicator, the only word left that can be our um No, I know I know it's not an anagram. Sorry, Scoffy, I know it's not an anagram. It's okay. <laughs> So the only thing left could for our anagram could be so we would we would then want Jane to be our definition. So if Jane is our definition, then our then our our, our fodder would be could be a. But so this is where this is where it comes in. Okay, so could five, six, seven, eight, right? So could be a is eight letters, and disaster could be an anagram indicator. Right? So I'm looking at could be a and thinking, okay, great, anagram could be a. But what's the problem with that? The problem with that is that we've got an M in our answer, yeah. So, it could, yeah, no M, exactly. So it can't be an anagram. So we've, now we've got a pretty short clue that we're sure isn't an anagram. Disaster isn't our indicator. Is, so by the way, guys, I have got this. I have got this. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not looking for the solve, but I'm just trying to think, for, I'm just trying to talk through how I would then try and work it out. So if we tried to do a charade, is there someone called Jane in history that starts with a C that we could put in? So we want Jane could be a, might, we've got a letter M, could it be might? Well, I don't think it could be Mike because it doesn't fit. So, so, hello, the scruffy. So, I'm getting stuck on it being a charade. So, there's another type of clue which I haven't mentioned yet, and this is. This is possibly an example of that. And it's called a double definition. And what that means is that actually we're not looking at a cryptic part of our clue at all. We're looking at two parts of a clue that are both pointing to the same answer. So double definition. I don't know whether I categorize this as a double definition or as just a single cryptic definition. Either way, it kind of works. So we're looking for a Jane 
someone called Jane that might be a disaster. Does that ring any bells for anyone with the letters C something L something M at all? Historically, famously, uh, we've got an R. Uh, have we got it? Calamity, calamity, calamari, calamity. Yeah. So I think the answer is calamity, and the answer is calamity because of calamity Jane, and because of the other part of the clue saying could be a disaster. So in theory, this is both things. A cryptic definition of calamity Jane could just be Jane could be a disaster. So it could be what what was called a cryptic definition, where you literally the answer, the, the clue is just defining the answer, but in a weird way. But it could also be what was called a double definition, because Jane. Calamity Jane is a person, could be a disaster, a calamity is a disaster, so it's kind of both. I think if it was a cryptic definition, or if it was trying to be a cryptic definition, it would have a question mark at the end to say we're, we're doing something a bit dodgy here. So I think it pretty much is, is just a double definition. Calamity Jane, a disaster is a calamity. So, calamari, still stuck on calam calamari, sleepy. Um, are you a crossword person? Do you do a lot of them? Do a lot of cryptics? So today I'm I'm trying to do a bit of a a learn alongish type type deal to start with. So I want to get chat involved. I want to explain the clues and see what we can get. Um, and also, um, possibly stick this video on YouTube. So. If you're watching it on YouTube, hello YouTubers, and um, come and follow me on Twitch because we do cryptic crosswords a lot. Um, so, next clue, any preference? Let's look at four down. Certainly have fewer qualms. Have fewer qualms. Certainly have fewer qualms. Um. Solver school. The thing is, I feel like teachers have to be good at something before they can really teach, and maybe they don't. But I, I'm not terribly great at these. So, certainly have fewer qualms. What is, what is ringing in my head is well, there's quite, a, there's very few letters here. Um, so because more well, few words here, so because there's few words here. Is qualms an anagram indicator? So have fewer is nine letters. So I'm looking at that and I'm looking at my answer and I can see I've got a U and a T. There's nothing in the fodder. So qualms probably not an anagram indicator. I mean, it's a stretch to say that qualms is an anagram indicator, but because, because it's such a small clue, I thought I'd try it, but it didn't work. So. So the next thing I'm thinking is maybe have is a connector and it's not really important to my clue. My straight clue or my my straight clue certainly and then my cryptic is fewer qualms as a as a charade so a word that means fewer and then a word that means qualms. Does it work like that? Um, maybe. What, what words, what things could mean certainly? Well, we could have definitely. Certainly. Inevitably, I don't know. All of the things I'm thinking that could mean certainly at the minute ended L-Y, and I don't think that's going to be the case because, well, just because I'll, if our straight clue ends in L-Y, I feel like our cryptic our answer won't. But I'm not sure. Have fewer qualms. Right. Let's go to chat. How or what type of clue is this? Um, what's what's going on? Double definition, charade, what's our what is our straight clue? What's our cryptic? So it's a double definition. Hello, Broken Fixie, how are you? Welcome in.
So we're actually here, as, a, as it's a double definition, looking for a word that means certainly and a word that means fewer qualms. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a gifted sub. DQ, thank you so much. Thank you. And Fixer, you now have free access to our got, got puzzle piece. I'm just popping in there. But in future, you can use our, our got. You can also use the got in other channels, which is great if you're on other cryptic souls. Um, so I'm looking for a definition. I'm looking for a word that means certainly and a word that means fewer qualms. Okay, here's where I'm going to turn to a thesaurus. So I'm going to do synonym of certain. Fewer crock, fewer crock, fewer qualms. I'm only indisputable, shooting, confident. What are we looking for? Guys, what are we looking for? What am I doing? Is there anything in there that I need? Convinced. Please help. <laughs> Antonyms. But I thought it was a def double definition. Well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to look like a mug for my um, my um, YouTube video viewers. So let's fill it in. Let's fill it in. What is the answer? Well, we'll explain it. Synonyms for certainly, surely, doubtless. Ah. Okay. So, this does make sense. If you're certain of something, you don't doubt it, you're doubtless. Have fewer qualms, well, you, you doubt less. Um, it isn't a double definition, though, is it? Not really. But the fewer qualms is kind of a bit of a cryptic -y definition of the answer, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? You're doubting less. So having fewer qualms is not really a synonym of doubtless, because that means you're sure. So this answer is kind of a pun. So well, it's a pun. So you can have um, puns as a type of clue. So this is, uh, we don't often see puns in the garden in every man, but this is, this answer is a pun. So your straight clue is certainly, which is doubtless and have fewer qualms is actually a pun. Doubt less. If you doubt less, you have fewer qualms. It's kind of, it's a pun. It, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a punny definition, if you like. But it, it's not a double definition per se, because it's not, fewer qualms is not a definition of, of, um, of doubt, that synonym of doubtless. Um, okay, so should we look at the little four letter clue? So we've got a four letter clue here, which has got a lot of words in it. That jumps out at me straight away. We're looking for four letters and it's massive in terms of our, our potential fodder and indicators and all sorts, so this is horrible. So, the first thing I can see is at the end of the clue, it says losing husband. Let me read the whole clue out. Managed to retire a period of years after losing husband. So, my thoughts on this are losing husband. Husband can be the letter H. It's one of the replacements of a word for a letter. So, you could have a H. Losing H could mean that we're taking H away from something. Um, and then if losing husband is indicating that, then that means it's part of our cryptic. So if it's part of our cryptic, that means that we need to look at the start for our cryptic definition, manage to retire, or just manage. So are we looking for to retire a period of years? So we might be looking for a word that means a period of years that we take a H away from to get our answer. 
or we might be looking for backwards period of years so retire could be telling us that the period of years we're looking for goes backwards um, so we're looking for manage so if we're looking for a straight clue that means manage then retire a period of years might mean we take a word that is some period of years and we turn it around retire and and and, and this is a, this is a thing that can happen in crosswords there can be words that indicate that you need to turn something backwards and they can be they can be to tell you that something is hidden backwards when we saw that hidden clue before that was forwards but if you see something that's saying some reverse that's pretty basic but some reverse thing then it could be a hidden backwards but they can also just be a synonym that we need to turn around or even part of the clue we need to turn around so let's say we're looking for a period of years that needs to have a h in because we want to take the h out what is that it's not an era because that doesn't have a h in um we also need it to have a p in there Yeah, so we're looking for exactly, if it's losing a letter, it's probably five. So we want a five letter word that means a period of years. It has a P in it and it has a H in it because we want to take the H out. Um, and I hope that by saying all of those things, someone has, has clocked the answer because I haven't. Maybe I'm not even right. So what is what periods of years have we got? Month. Not a month, we've got a P. Year, not a year, we've got a P. We've got a H, only four letters. Century, millennia, none of those things work. Week doesn't work. It's a fun sounding word. <laughs> Is it PH? Um, anyway, so I don't want to drag this out and I'm happy not to solve them myself, so what is this period of years that we're looking for it's not a ph sound is it happen of epoch okay so we're taking the h off of epoch to make epoc and then we're making it go backwards to get so epoc backwards so we've taken the h out of epoch Put it backwards and we get cope cope synonym of manage how do you manage how do you cope so that's how we got to that answer well, was convoluted um but as you can see sometimes you can know how a clue works and not see the see the see the definition sometimes you can you can get a word from the definition and not know how the clue works necessarily and then reverse engineer um this was tricky i'm not gonna lie this was tricky i mean retire to go backwards a period of years to take a h away like to work that out i'm not expecting people to be able to look at that and grab it straight away but imagine if you had got the p you got the c and you were looking at manage and thinking, well, cope fits in there. How does cope work? You could maybe reverse engineer that cryptic from that. Six down. Okay, so. That's quite interesting. We haven't got any Cs though, have we? The P helped me reverse engineer because of course you're looking for, you're looking for a five letter period of time period of years um, where where you know there's a P and and you and you can think that P is either going to be the, fir the third or second letter because you know you're only taking a H out yeah I was gonna say with a C it doesn't work from what you're from what you're saying but it could be the start so it could be like Secounter. It's not though. Yeah. But it could be regularly seen. Sorry, I'm talking in tongues if you're watching this, you know, I'm having a conversation with Aina. Um so there is a type of 
indicator clue that means that you don't that the word is hidden but it's hidden in alternate letters and what Aiden was trying to say what Guy Bash was trying to say was that um, Gladendroid my bot has a has a function called alternate which just shows me like so if I put in so regularly here could it be indicating I don't think it is indicating for the whole answer but regularly could be indicating that we take every other letter from the from the next set of words if regularly is indicating that then meeting would be our straight clue so we're not going to do it for meeting but we're going to do alternate scene to oppose now this won't give us our answer because there's a c and there's no c in that fodder but i'm just going to do it to show you what we're talking about so glendroid is saying enopo or setops and what that's done is that's gone take the even letters and put them together then take the odd letters and put them together and that can happen there can be clues that are indicating that this clue could also just be saying well you do need to do regularly but only from scene so then we, it could be that it's en for a meeting so it could mean that we need en from regular from scene regularly so the e and then the second e and then the final letter and then to oppose so we're looking for um to oppose a word that means to oppose that gives us an, a straight clue of a meeting so um if you oppose something you're anti it so it could be anti but actually we're looking for a word that was opposed that begins with a c so i know what this is but we could go to a thesaurus um we're looking for a word that means to oppose that when we put it into here after n is going to give us a word that means a meeting so dq i don't know if you're still here hadouken um chelsea any blurting from you is welcome here if you know what the word is so we want to put a word that means to oppose after the en the word to oppose has to start with a c um, and it's going to give us a meeting when we put it in overall um, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, but then I'm going to I'm going to put it in. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you're screaming that it's counter. If you oppose something, you counter it. If you put counter after the regular letters of scene, you get en. And an encounter is a meeting. So meeting is our straight clue. The the thing that is tricky here um, is, is that the words regularly seen together could indicate that we need to take alternate letters. So it's being tricky because it's telling us to use the regular letters from seen. But, but often regularly seen might indicate but we take the regular letters from something else. So I'd watch out for that one. Four across. Um, I like this because it's got extremely, which is going to help us. Um, and we've got a lot of letters, which helps us more because we've got the first letter. Extremely desirable to stop involving resistance in drop got but not sure the full cryptic yeah i've got i think i've got i've got okay so we'll talk it through extremely the word extremely can indicate that you're taking the extremes of the of the following word or the previous word there's no previous word here because i've seen extremely um i'm gonna go okay i need to take the let's see whether that works can i take those letters from the start and end of it of the next word so desirable um, extremely could also be like um, the coat of something, the skin of something. So if something's like, if it's a desirable jacket, for instance, or desirable coat or desirable skin, though, or if the chat could give us some other examples of those sort of indicator, essentially it's saying take the very edges of, of a word. Okay, so extremely desirable. Those that would be D and E. Our answer starts with a D, so that is brilliant for us. We can pretty much say, okay, extremely desirable means 
that the start of my clue, the start of my answer is DE, which is great. If that's how it works, then that means our straight clue must be the end because it's either the start or the end. So we get drop. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but for me, those letters, plus the fact that I'm looking for a drop, Oh, wait a minute, does that work? So I think it, maybe I'm getting this wrong here, but the next part of a clue, we've got extremely desirable, that's DE. The next part of a clue starts with a C and it's to stop. But it says to stop involving resistance. So what that flags to me is that I'm looking for a word to stop that starts with a C and then involving resistance means that I'm probably going to put an R into it. Am I even right here? Resistance, R can be a replacement for resistance because we're talking about um, electronics. The, the resistance of an electronic circuit is represented by the letter R resistance. So we could put an R in here. Um, but it doesn't matter to know that as long as you can think about the fact that if you see the word involving, if you see the word involving, eating, containing, devouring, all sorts of indicators that kind of mean to bring something in can indicate that you're looking to put something inside something else. Because this says resistance, that means to me R. So I'm looking to put an R into a word that means stop. The word that I've got in my head that means stop is cease, which is spelled C-E-A-S-E, -E, cease, C-E-A-S-E. -E. So the, the only place I could put my R would be there. Um, and that gives me decrease. And decrease means drop, decline, fall, decrease, drop. So, I don't know whether anyone could see the answer decrease before we put those extra letters in there. But if you could, then that's brilliant. That means that you could guess at decrease and then try and understand backwards why that cryptic works to, to confirm it. But yeah, the tricky thing here is the resistance part. But you're, you'll get used to the, the idea that if it's going to say involving and it's a big long word, it's probably just going to mean the first letter. Um, it's a shame that you don't always get that indicated for the first letter, but I think as you do them, you start to notice when that will be a thing. And um, it's often when you have a scientific term where it's a measurement um, or where sometimes cricket related things, cricket runs, because on a cricket scoreboard, a run is an R. There are lots of others. Zero can be love because love is zero in tennis. So you put an O if it says love, things like that. Again, that Wikipedia link from the start will help someone with those if you need to look stuff up. Um, okay, next, 11. How are we doing for time? Not great. I would normally finish in 15 minutes, so maybe we won't do another one. I don't know. Whisper mistaken result. So... Okay, I think that I know how to do this. Have we got anyone that wants to posit a theory, if that's the right thing to say? Um. My, yeah, so Scruffy has said, based on the letters, and I get this, you've got, they've got, mis they've got mistaken, mistaken, could that be an anagram indicator? Everything could be an anagram indicator, but mistaken, I feel, is a fairly obvious one. We've put the words, we've put the letters in the wrong order, it's a mistake, mistaken letters. Result is six letters, our answer is six letters, and we have a U and a T in our answer, which is in result, so that kind of 
all works. So we're just looking for a word that means whisper because whisper would have to be our straight clue if our cryptic is mistaken result. So an anagram of result that means whisper. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Russell. Yeah, that's a that's a tricky definition then, isn't it? A rustle. It's a whisper. Do we think do we feel that? I don't I don't I don't feel that. I mean that is the answer because it's definitely a mistaken result. And rustle and whisper, I feel we're like close enoughy words, you know, they're they're definitely sound evoking sounds, so I guess maybe the rustle of a... It's not luster, is it? It's not luster? Let's let's just see whether... We'll, let's do a define on luster, see if we can get anything close. Luster. A gentle sheen. A fabric or yarn with sheen or gloss. A thin coating... Russell. Russell, a soft muffled crackling, muffled crackling sound. Yeah. So whisper and muscle are related by being soft sounds. So let's go with Russell. Um, okay. So let's say let's look at fifteen. We got the first letter. Oh, okay. This is tricky. We got two words. Hearing test. Hearing test. So if it's short, what have we got here? Is it going to be a double definition? Is it going to be a cryptic definition? I mean, I don't know what this is. Um, we've got some gots. Hearing test. So what comes to my mind is this is prob probably what, what we call a double definition. Both of those two words are synonyms for another third word that starts with a T that can mean both. So hearing and a test. Now a hearing, a hearing, hearing as a word could mean that you hear audible sound type things, but it could also be the legal term where you're on trial and a trial is also a synonym for a test. A test of strength, test of strength, a trial of strength. So it's a it's a double definition. They don't often have much indication other than the fact that they're very short. A clue with two words in is either going to be what we call analytic, which I'm not going to talk about right now because just don't worry about it if you're doing cryptics and and you're solving half a grid to start with that's great you'll you'll get there i'm not going to go on about them right now because it's just too it's just too much it's breaking the rules but a double definition is not breaking the rules it's very much a clue you're going to keep seeing and they're short the other thing that it could be is the word hearing could indicate a homophone a sounds like we haven't seen any sounds like yet i don't know if there are any in, the, in this grid it'd be great if we could find one if there are but but here we're just saying a hearing is a trial, you're on trial. A test is another type of trial. So we've got a double definition. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that now. Let's move on. 12 across, we look at 12. 12 across, yeah. Um, we have the word gripe. We have the word terribly. Both potential anagram indicators. About, that's also a potential anagram indicator. Uh oh. Okay. Gripe terribly about loathsome advantage. Oh, loathsome could be an anagram indicator. Enjoyed by some. Uh oh, we've got some. What can some be? Some could be a hidden, hidden indicator. We've got lots of indicators. What do we do if we get this awful situation? <laughs> right. So. How am I, how would I go about trying to, to to decrypt and solve this? The thing that jumps out at me right away 
is that it's our, our answer starts with a P and then we've got an I very close to the start and the letters from gripe line up with that. The next word in our clue terribly um, could indicate that gripe is being anagrammed and I would probably work on that with that as a theory to start with and I don't know if this is going to pan out but that's how I'm going to go with it. So if, if it's gripe terribly, where are the rest of my letters? That's, the, that's the, the next thing I'm thinking. Well, I've got five letters for gripe. I need some more. The rest of a clue is now saying about, about loathsome advantage. Well, what on earth is a loathsome advantage? And, and what does about mean? Well, I said earlier, about can mean loads of stuff. So it could be the letter C. About could be the letter C for circa. About could be an anagram indicator, but terribly, I feel like it's already my anagram indicator. So the other thing that about could mean is that my my terrible, my terribly written gripe or my anagram of gripe might be going about another word. So I'm going to say, let's take the R and we've got a P and an E left. So I need to, no, no, we haven't got P and a G left. So maybe E-G-E -E or E-E-G at the end. That just seems like the best letter to, the R seems like the best letter to put here, like was the word starting with pry, yeah? We've got some gots in the chat now, this is great. Now I reckon that enjoyed by some, or an advantage, an advantage, an advantage enjoyed by some could be our straight clue. So we're just looking for something that means loathsome. We want to put a word for loathsome in here. Now this is a word that comes up quite a lot in cryptics, I think, um, because there's a classic example of an analyte, which I'm not going to talk about now, but, but uses this word. Um, but we want a four letter word for loathsome. So I know what it is. I'm going to stick it into my synonym thing. This is classic Google loathsome, Google loathsome synonyms, and hopefully you're going to come up with this. Yeah, I know I do, but bear with. But thank you. Well, have we got any four letter ones? We have, look. Vile, vile, and it ends in an E, that's absolutely perfect for us because we know it ends in an E. Privile league, well, that's not a word, is it? But it's okay because we're allowed to swap around these letters. And then we get an advantage that's enjoyed by some. A privilege. And we got that by doing some careful detective work, I believe. Um. I hope that that solve made sense. Again, it's another complicated one. And I will say things like that, that are telling you to do multiple things in one go. Don't worry if you're not getting them straight away. The best thing to do if you're trying to work to learn these things is to get the ones you can get first. Reveal the others if you don't get them. And, and if you reveal them and you can and you can reverse engineer the answers, Brilliant. If you can't, the solution to this is going to be online. Craig Plant, hello, hello, hello. Um, the solution to this is going to be online. Um, so I've been I've been doing this um, this crossword with an explanation of how and um, why I'm getting to all of my answers for. A deliberate reason of wanting to slow back down on my stream a little bit. I won't be as slow in future, but for today, I want this to be, let's talk it through. Let's get the chat involved to, to solve them if they are. Um, I want to say inexperienced, that sounds bad, but I'm going to say inexperienced. And also then to take this and make it available to watch back and, and um, link it if people ask. I hope that works. Anyway. I agreed to cover the doctor to make up for it. Oof. I agreed to cover the doctor to make up for it. 
I agree to cover the doctor to make up for it. So, the way that I would attempt to solve this one, which might sound a little bit cheaty, is that the answer is 234, as in the words that make up the answer are a two letter word, a three letter word, and a four letter word. Um, in these situations, it's quite likely that the answer is going to be a phrase, like a well-known phrase. And then the meaning of that well-known phrase is going to be hidden as part of our cryptic clue here of either the straight clue being to make up for it, or I agree, or I agree to cover, or something like that. So you can kind of brute force it to an extent. Hello, Safsi, welcome in. How are you doing? Um, Safsi guys is a, is a streamer as well, and they um, they've been playing. They've been playing Dark Souls three. Um, I think either have been or are planning to start playing um, Breath of the Wild as well. So give them a follow if you're into either of those. Um, okay, okay. Had the day off work, went shopping, took ages, bought some Lego. Um, now I'm doing a hopefully a a more slow um, collaborative crossword that I'm hoping will, will be good for, for learning how to do cryptic crosswords. So if you're interested in learning how to do cryptic crosswords, definitely please hang around. But I have I have kind of explained a lot already. But if you have any questions, I'm happy to go back over them. So let's say to make up for it is our is our straight clue, and I don't know if it is, but let's just work on that theory for for first, uh, like to start with. Oh, look at that! I'm not good at crosswords. Well, well, I thought, Sassy. So, thank you, <laughs> thanks, Sassy. You can use the um, Aiden man. You can use you can use my emote now. So if you get one of the answers, you can use this. Um, and, and what I'm trying to do is, so cryptic crosswords, there's, the, the, what do I want to say? I don't want to say, oh, it's easy. I can't do them a lot of the time. But I find them easier than normal crosswords because they almost are a normal crossword plus an extra way to solve the answer. For instance, in a normal crossword, this unpeg here might have just said take down. It, 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 take down could have been a legitimate clue for unpeg in a regular crossword. Nothing else, just take down. But in a cryptic, I have my straight clue, take down, and I've got my cryptic clue here, which is pretty much spelling the answer out to me if I know how to read it. And, and that's the thing. Once you know the rules and the logic of it, they become a self-checked clue. They, they they give you a definition and they give you a way to work out that definition. And when those two things line up, you know that that's the answer. In a in a regular crossword, take down, the only way that I would really have to try and um, reconcile that answer is to then look at one down and see that it's said not satisfactory, forget the council, whatever, not satisfactory. Again, not satisfactory could have been a legit clue for unacceptable on its own in a regular crossword. I would have to try and look at both of those and think, well, I need two words to start with the same letter that mean that. To me, that is harder than learning some rules and, and, and breaking down a cryptic. And they, 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 they tell you the answers once you, once you can break into them and get them. Although I still can't do that. So, you know, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm an expert when I'm absolutely not. Um, anyway, oh wait, I looked at my chat and saw someone had got it, but actually it's me that's got it, and I was just showing you my emote. So the way that I would break this down is perhaps, 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 because I know that the word, the answer starts with an I. The I is I. I could be I. As in, if this was a charade, the letter I in my in my clue could be a direct transpose of that letter to my answer so i put an i in the next part would be agree to cover the doctor 
So I would want a word that means agree to cover a word that means the doctor. So a doctor could be a GP, a doctor could be an MD, a doctor could be a, um, what's the other one? H, is it HO? No. There's lots of different abbreviations for a doctor. A doctor, oh, DR, could be DR, right. Um, has anyone got this answer, by the way? Because I could be just talking absolute nonsense here, and this isn't how it works at all. But I'm looking for make up for it, or to make up for it. And if, 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 if we've got a two letter word that starts with an I, then it could be an in or an is or an it. I don't think it'll be it. Make up for it. I agree to cover. To be honest, I don't know how to solve this right now. That's okay, because we've got other words that cross it that will give us letters and that will help us do it. And again, that's why it's a crossword, because we can get more cross letters and that will help us with our answer. So let's look at 17. It's worth having in the manner arranged. Okay, well, again, my thoughts of how I would break it down is I'd see the word arranged and I would think, oh, is arranged an anagram indicator? It might be. Always look for anagram indicators. Um, well, if it was, then manner there's too many letters, right? Manner's six letters, so it can't be manner arranged because we've got a five letter answer. It's worth having, could be a stream clue. It's worth having in the manner arranged. Ugh. So please tell me someone I got this one. It's worth having. So for some reason I'm thinking it assess. But I don't I don't think it's assess because you'd be you'd be working out something's worth, but this is saying it's worth. In the manner arranged. So what about what about if it's hidden? Because we can see the we can see in the and in the could be saying that the answer is in the manner arranged. So could it be that? Well, if our other answers are right, we've got an A something S. So if we're looking for a hidden answer in here, we've got narrow we, we need an A to start with. So it would be ANN, -N, but there's no S, or it'd be ARR, -R, but there's no S. So in the isn't telling us that it's hidden in this case. So it's not hidden. Arses is too many letters. I mean, assess is too many letters. I mean, assess doesn't work as an answer anyway, does it? Arses are worth having. Wait, are you telling me that arses is the answer? <laughs> the manner arranged. Are we looking for something that's worth having? Are we looking for, does anyone have it? I've, there's no gods, there's no gods, we've been beaten. Okay, fine. Um, let's look at 19. We've got the first letter, um, safely secure the ends of weed killer in cupboard. Right. Okay, so what are the ends of weed killer in cupboard? R and D. Could it be that? Could the ends of weed killer be either side of weed killer? The W and the R? Maybe. So the ends of weed killer could be W and R and it says in cupboard? So maybe we're looking for a word that means safely secure, which would be what, lock up, locked, locked? I don't know, but ends of weed killer, if it's W and R, as in either end of the word weed killer, W and R. In a cupboard, a cupboard that means, a three letter word for a cupboard maybe.
I know how to do hidden, charade, and anagrams, but I know there's several more options. Yes. Yes, so I don't know if you were around when we looked at hearing test, but hearing test is an example of a double definition. Um, actually, if you want to have a look at the, the, the answers and ask how we got to some of them, I'll go back over it happily. So you can, you can do that. Hearing test is a double definition. So the word hearing and the word test are both synonyms for another word, which is trial. If you're on trial, you're having a hearing um, and a, a trial of strength or a trial of endurance, a test of strength test. So the, 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 the trial is a synonym of both of hearing and test. So hearing test is a double definition. Um, so no one's got 19 either. So my idea of trying to get cross letters for 13 is failing a little. Um, is it a three letter word for a cupboard? Safely secure the ends of weed killer. Safely secure the ends of weed killer. I think you've got 18. Okay, let's have a look at 18. So it's 18, isolated copies, retrospectively valued. So does retrospectively mean backwards? Possibly something backwards. So it could mean a copy. So the so that here, the straight glue could be isolated, and then we're looking at a, a a backwards word for copies, or a backwards word for valued, but in that order. So backwards copied and then valued, or copies and then backwards valued to make. You've got 19 as well. Awesome. So let's say that, let's say that, I mean, this also could be, um, the straight clue could be valued and we could be looking for a word that means isolated and then a word that means copies backwards. Retrospectively might not even mean backwards, but I think it does. I don't know. So what's a word for copies that ends in an S? And well, copies would end in an S anyway. So the first idea is copies and then valued backwards. Hello, Crowny. Zero help. We're, 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 um, we're, we're learning today together, so zero help at the start and then hopefully some help by the end. Um. So we've got no copies. So it's copies backwards. So copies backwards makes sense because copies is plural or copies as in making a copy. Either way, you'd think that the word that we're looking for would end in an S. Um, valued. So the word that, that means copies backwards could be anything which is a stupid thing to say, but it could any length. So it could start in an R. So we could be looking for a word that starts in an R and means copies. And it goes backwards here to make, and then we put a word that means valued on the end of it. And when we do that, we get an answer that means isolated. So maybe we should just look for synonyms of isolated and see what we can come up with. Because because there's not, you know, not, I don't think this is an, so separate, sporadic. We're looking for a word, stranded, segregated. Copies is apes. So if, if copies is apes, Then we're, when we've got sepa, right? Apes backwards. So copies retrospectively is a word that means copies backwards. If you ape something, you copy it. And then a word that means valued, that gives us overall a word that means isolated. And it starts with an R. I'm just gonna let chat put in that. 
Crowny, Crowny, you got this. You got this, haven't you? You know it. As a lesser used term for copies, what apes? Sometimes, but. Yeah, I know Scruffy did, but I'm ignoring. I do know it, I'm not willing to share. Okay, fine. A word that means valued, rated. Don't be sorry, don't be, it's okay. I'm just, it's fine. Right, apes, backwards, followed by rated. So copies, retrospectively, apes, backwards, followed by valued, rated. When we do that, we get separated, which is a synonym of isolated. So we're happy with this answer, yeah. Right, we had some gods on on 19. Could someone let me know how this works? Or what the straight clue is? Let's not put the answer into the chat straight away. The definition is just cupboard. Right, so ends of weed killer in is could mean could be saying that we need a word that means safely secure like locked or just lock and then we want the ends of weed killer in it so wr lord there we go look that's a cupboard isn't it i know safely secure You know a word look for cupboard. What do you mean it's just a connector? In is just a connector. Oh right, so what are we looking for? Weed killer. Ends of weed killer is ER. That's terrible. That terrible is rubbish. So the in in the, the, the sorry that clue. So the end what this is saying the ends of weed killer are the two letters at the end of weed killer er and safely secure is lock what i don't really like about that is that the word lock and the word locker have the same root like they're both rooted in the in the word lock aren't they like a locker is a door that is a cupboard you can lock which is why it's called a locker so i just feel like cluing the word locker using the word lock with an ER on the end, just does not just feel like, just feels a bit. Anyway, to me that feels a bit messy, a bit icky, icky, I would say. But that's how this was, this is working. It's a cupboard, a locker is a cupboard. Safely secure is lock, and the ends of weed killer are both of the letters on the end of weed killer because it's plural, ER, and we knew that because we only had two letters left and locker worked. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got that. Ugh. Anyway. We are getting there, aren't we? We're getting there. Um, polite expression for you being against heartless, heartless feminism. Oh, this is a homophone, right? This is a homophone. Maybe. So, polite expression for you being against heartless women. Feminism. Why did I say women? Why did I say clearly Freudian? <laughs> so um, you've got 14 down, awesome. So I think that, and I haven't talked about this type of clue yet, but you can have a clue which is either fully or partially a sounds like or a homophone clue. And they are indicated by words that mean something is said aloud or we hear as a common one. So we hear is commonly indicating that it's a sounds like. Um, but you might see something that says reports or um, audible. So anything that sort of is something that sounded aloud or it makes you think it's being said out loud that can indicate that it, that two words sound the same. Now, a homophone, to, to go back to basics, is essentially... Homophones, to words are homophones of one another if they are spelled differently 
they have different meanings, but they sound the same. Um, please, someone help me out with some examples in the chat because I'm terrible at coming up with examples on when you need to. But in 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 essence, we're we're saying that the answer to this clue is going to be a polite expression because the straight clue must be the start of the clue if we hear is an indicator for a homophone then that's the cryptic so the very end of the clue is part of our cryptic so we're looking for a polite expression or polite expression for you and then we have being against heartless feminism we hear so our answer is going to sound like we're saying we're against heartless feminism so so when we when we say our answer out loud, it's going to sound like we are against heartless feminism. What on earth is heartless feminism? Well, what is what is interesting is heartless. It can also be an indicator that we take the middle out of a clue. So it's similarly similar to like extremes where we're taking either letter, but heartless could mean that we take the middle out. But I don't know if, if it could mean that in this case, because that would be, unless it's, unless it's against heartless, A-T, feminism we hear. So it could be, it could be for you. I don't know what this is. It's very confusing as a clue though, because heartless, I mean, it, the, the thing is that, I've not seen it often, but sometimes homophones can just be a little bit. So we might just be looking for the end of the word that sounds like feminism. So the end of our answer sounds like feminism. But the other part of our answer is the charade of, of other parts of cryptic. So polite expression for you being against heartless. Oh, okay. So Broken Vixie has the answer. Others, any others. Um, hey, PG. Thanks. So my um, my some of my channel point redemptions on my Twitch channel are um, to do things with my lights. Um, so you can you can change my um, you can change the color of my lights, and Peachy of course changes my lights to pink every time they appear which is a very good little announcement of their presence i like it <laughs> um so what lights do i use so i've got a philips hue um colored bulbs and a philips bridge um so it's a bulb Bluetooth bulb in my actual ceiling. Um, so how am I? I'm okay. How are you? How are you? I'm 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 fine. I'm I've got a day of work. I need to go pick my glasses up in a bit. So I'm gonna have to race through this in a minute. But um I'm getting new glasses and I'm really happy because these things are four years out of date prescription wise. So I need a new, I've got a new prescription, but they're also, they have these like really solid arms on them, like solid plastic. And so they're not very flexible. And when you put, yeah, when I put my headphones on, they push, put pressure on my nose. They give me all sorts of, anyway, I'm hoping that these new titanium framed advanced prescription things that they told me are going to be superb, are actually going to be superb, but it wasn't just a marketing ploy. Probably wasn't, probably was market employee. Anyway, so I don't know the answer to this. We haven't got many in the chat that do. So let's, we don't have any letters for some of these things. 20 down, we've got the first letter for. Series of recurrent low level cyclones. I'm going to be honest. I thought these, these puzzles were supposed to be quick, quick solve, quick ticks. Maybe I could have raced through quite a bit of it, but I don't know. I love new glasses. I'm getting, I'm also getting um, new shades. I don't know if anybody uses, um, if you drive, I can't recommend enough having polarized um, shades. Um, I'm not just talking about for the sun. Polarized, 
polarized shades for all weathers. Low low sunlight reflecting off of roads in the winter when or after rain. Um, it all reflects up into your into your windscreen, in your eyes. Gets rid of that stuff. Gets rid of your like reflection of your dashboard on your windshield, which I can't stand. It just they're just awesome. They're so good. And so prescription polarized sunglasses. So I'm getting some more of those. They're Converse ones, and they're like big Converse aviators with these like rubber ish like um, arms. I mean, I like them. I made them sound really unfashionable. I like them. But anyway, sorry. So series of recurrent low-level cyclones. What does that even mean? Recurrent low-level cyclones. Series could be our straight clue. Cyclones could be our straight clue. I don't think cyclones would be our straight clue when our answer starts with a C, because is there a synonym for cyclones that's shorter but but starts with a C? Maybe? I don't think so. Cyclones could be an anagram indicator, right? like cyclones, spinning, messy, potential of, of an anagram indicator. But I don't think so because level doesn't have a C in and we've got a big old... How do we guess? Put your answer in. Just type it. What? You can just do this if you want. So are we looking for a series? It starts with C, five letters, the word means series. Thanks for being here, Aiden. That was awesome. I know I've been going on forever. Um because <laughs> I I didn't think I would I didn't think I would take two hours. Um but I've been going slow on purpose, so um should we No worries, no worries, no one has to be here all the time. Current, but obviously too many letters. Yeah, I liked getting calamity. No, it was fun. Do do does anyone know the answer? We have we have um <laughs> right. I tell you what I'm going to do for now. Cycle cyclones cycle series of recurrent low level. I don't know if that's right. You can't just be taking the first letters off of it, can you? You can't, we're not taking O and S away from it. Series of recurrent low level. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put, I'm going to just reveal these. We're at two hours and I need to go out in 15 minutes. So, we're going to reveal and explain them. Not that I, not that I really want to do that. But I think I've talked through my process of how I work things, of how we work them out. So we looked at this one. It's worth having in the man arranged. So let's look at let's let's, let's reveal twenty. It's cycle. Why is this answer cycle? Is it is it a cryptic definition? This is this is frustrating. Um, <laughs> as you can see, after doing um, after doing crosswords for years and years, I'm still not very good at them. <laughs> so. Um, I knew I was I knew I was um, trying my luck to be honest. So what we're looking at here, 20 down. Hidden reversal. You have gotta be kidding me. Right, do you remember when I said that if you can't find <sighs> Right. <laughs> this is a backwards hidden. Um, 
I'm not in love with this because Cyclone. Yeah. Exactly. It's what I said before. Cyclone and cycle, they're so similar to each other that you're not. But anyway, the way that you work this out, the word series is our straight clue, right? A straight clue, a series or a cycle. A cycle is like a series in some respects, right? Synonym. Recurrent is recurrent is our indicator that we're looking backwards, and of is our indicator that we're looking for a hidden word. So it's saying of recurrent, and then we're looking inside low-level cyclones for an answer backwards. So it's C Y C L E backwards cycle. But this clue has got low tacked on with an with a hyphen to make the surface work. It's using cyclone to hide the word cycle backwards, which is just messy as fuck. Anyway, sorry. Don't let this put you off. It's actually very fun to find out an answer and then sit here and pull it apart. And that's why recurrence stood out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, good. We've got, I mean, I would not have got that. I would not have got that. <laughs> Thank you, I hope so too. I really do hope so because these are, anyway. We will teach daughter to be knowledgeable. We will teach daughter to be knowledgeable. Um. Anybody? an idea on this one. <laughs> well educated. So that's come from the chat. I've spelled it wrong. E D U C C A T D well educated and we will is will yeah so that's like a that's like we will can be you stick an apostrophe and you get will or well without the apostrophe um teach daughter is <laughs> this is very annoying <laughs> but this is teach is educate, right? So educate is teach, it's a synonym. And daughter, as with son that I mentioned previously, you can replace with the letter D for daughter or S for son. So we put a D on the end of daughter and it becomes be knowledgeable. We will, we'll educate D, we'll educate D, we will teach daughter, becomes be knowledgeable, well educated. Um, so it's a, it's a charade, um, with our straight clue of knowledgeable and to be is just connecting our clues together. So we will teach daughter, we'll educate D to be knowledgeable, well-educated. Um, right. So 26, we've got the last letter of pay out odds on final. So it ends in a D, so our odds, because odds here could indicate the odd letters from something. So similarly to our alternate, if you see odds or odds out or something like that, it could mean um, it could mean you're taking odd letters. But our answer's got a D in and nothing in the clue has a D in. So if it's out odds, it's just going to be OT from, from odds. But then pay would have to be our straight clue. So if pay was our straight clue and our odds was OT and then it's on final, then final could be end, right? So it could be ottened. That's not a word that means pay, is it? So, I mean, maybe it is, but I don't think so. So our odds, um, This is going to look tremendous if I put this out. Oh, 
are we doing a harder crossword than we normally do on a daily basis? Should we like start doing these instead? <laughs> Be nosy about setter working rent free. So our setter today is Provis. So setter could be the name of the person that set the clue. It could also just mean because the setter is setting the clue, they refer to themselves as I or me. So we could have me in here. So, so if you see the name of the setter or setter in a clue, um, it can be I or me. If it's setters, it could be it could be mine. No, it could be I'm, as in setter is. Um, I am, or my, because belonging to the setter. So it's a bit of a weird one, but to be nosy about setter working, and then we got rent free. So be nosy could be the the start of a clue. Um, I mean, sorry, be nosy could be the the straight clue. I think I'm I think I'm losing my I lose my mind as pink. Let's get rid of the pink. Should we get rid of the pink? So we love the pink. Some of us love the pink, but this is my concentration light. So Be nosy could be to interfere, to poke your nose in, get involved, yeah? And then and then I see this. So setter is I and Rent free is anagrammed. Working is an anagram indicator. So this is a part, this is an anagram indicator with an extra letter involved. Mexit. Hello. Hello. So what we've got here is a setter is a self-referential I. The setter is I. And then rent free working is an anagram of rent free. R-E-N-T-F-R-E-E. -E -E. So we've got Interfere, be nosy. Excellent. So this is euphemism. Okay, so now I was trying to work out how, how uh, this worked. A polite expression, a euphemism, so you're not, you're, 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 you're making a euphemism to be polite because you're not saying the crude thing that you were going to say. You're saying a euphemism instead, right? So polite expression. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Thank you. Mm. So this works. It's awful. And I'm really sorry about this because this is awful. It's a sounds like of a heartless feminism or you so it sounds like if I said you and heartless feminism together, if I said feminism without the me, I'd be saying fism. No, if I was say if I said if I said fem femism feminism without the n, I'd be saying femism. Yeah, right. So you femism is like saying you feminism without the heart. So it's awful. It's awful. I hate it. I hate it. But this is so bad. I'm so sorry that I'm trying to do an introduction to crosswords with a with a with a homophone that is that is a joke of a clue. So it's it's it's, it's basically saying you against heartless feminism. If you said that out loud, it would sound like this answer. So you feminism because I don't have the heart in feminism. Feminism. 
It's like taking the N out, yeah, feminism or in. So the heart of feminism is in because the very middle. So I'm taking the in out of feminism to get feminism. And I'm saying you, feminism. It's awful. It's, it's awful. I, I want to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. But it's... That's how you do it. <laughs> so I agree. I agree to cover... Um, to make up for it. I agree to cover the doctor to make up for it. So... So, if this is in, and it's I is I, agree, what, what do you do when you agree? And then we're covering the doctor. I reckon in this clue, the is the, because we've got the T. So I is I, and the is the. So it's in the something. Now, if a doctor is an MO, up for it. Up for it in the mood. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so this is I nod. So I agree, I nod to cover the doctor. So we're covering the MO. So I nod is going around the MO to make in the mood up for it. This crossword is not what I thought it was going to be, but it's fine. Seventeen across. It's worth having. What is worth having? Now I've got a T on the end. Something that's worth having is an asset. But that's not how you spell it. But that was supposed to be an S E T. What just happened there? I just heard a noise. Was that Crowny DQ? Come on, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's not make this into a competition because I can out gift sub you all day long. <laughs> Plus, all we're doing is giving half of our money to um, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> just, dude, just wire me some cash. You got my paper. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Thank you. It's awesome. Crowny, you can use my, um, you can now use my emote. You can now enjoy ad free viewing. You can also use all my um, subscription commands, which are in my about section. Um, <laughs> oh was that paying forward the gift they got ah oh, wonderful very merry has been subbed sends all money <laughs> oh, okay anyway so an ass an asset is worth having okay so why is this cryptic manner arranged as a set so in the manner is as and arranged is set if you set a date you arrange it if you set a whoa Kaj huh. thank you thank you <laughs> um thanks a lot this is gonna this is gonna be a great YouTube video for tutorial and crosswords, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so the way that this works is an asset is worth having. An asset is worth having. Thank you, Crowny. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Very nice to hear. In the manner is as. You know, if you said in the manner of something, you could say as something. So as is in the manner. An arranged is set. You set a date, you've arranged a date, you've set a meeting, you've arranged a meeting. So as set becomes it's worth having an asset. So it's a charade of as and set to make our straight clue. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I've got half an hour before I need to pick my glasses up and should be able to get to Specsavers with time to spare. So don't panic. I mean, it's me that's panicking. <laughs> 21 across is to this came across man touring Ohio 
for shooting. So, um, I feel like for shooting is telling us that shooting is going to be our straight clue. Came across man touring. So, okay, for Ohio. Um, so Ohio is a state. States have short, um, short um, forms. They have letters that meet them. They use to represent states, much like countries do. But states also have it. And Ohio's is O H. Um, across could mean that something is going around, but came across could also mean that you found something. So maybe it's found. If you come across something, you might meet them. I don't know what this is. Anyone got this? I'm soothed but confused. <laughs> Next, I was I was explaining. I think some of the first clues in the, in this, I was explaining how to get them and how they work. But you you take a clue and you and you tend to break it into two parts. So you have a definition of an answer in your in your clue, and it's either the start or the end. So if we look at if we look at this clue one across here, unpeg is our answer. And if you look, take down is just a definition of unpeg. And almost all of our clues have got a definition of the answer in them. So if we were to pretend this was a regular crossword, we could wipe out half of the clue and just say, take down unpeg. And, and that works for a lot of stuff like decrease, drop. So if this clue just said drop, the answer could be decrease. So this, this is how a normal crossword works. But a cryptic gives you another way to work out the answer. And it gives you a way to check your answer as well. So even though they're called cryptics, for me, they become easier than, than regular crosswords once you know the rules. So in this case, A in French is un. Exercise is PE because school exercise lessons PE, physical education. So A in French is un. PE is exercise. And grudgingly at first means take the first letter from grudgingly to get the G. So you make unpeg. So it's telling me how to get my answer, but it's also telling me that the answer means take down, unpeg. And that 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 works for almost every clue in a crossword. You've got your straight clue and you've got your cryptic part. If you can work out what the straight clue is, you can almost guess a bunch of words that fit. On the unpeg, on the peg part. Okay, Craig Plot, honestly, if there's anything here that you want me to explain again, just let me know. I'll go through it. <sighs> really big brain. I don't have a big brain. I don't have a big brain. I, I struggle a lot. I have no idea what the answer to 21 is. I'm going to reveal it. Meteoric. Meteoric. Shooting. Met. Oh my. Where's our H? Is O for Eric. Came across a man touring Ohio. Is O the state code for Ohio? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So I've really not picked the best crossword to do as an introduction to crosswords, but we're going we're gonna to soldier on. <laughs> well, I'm just going to reveal. So this is met Eric. Eric is a man, right? So I met um, I met Eric. I came across a man, and, and, and that is touring Ohio, which is the letter O. So meteoric around the letter O makes meteoric. And meteoric is a synonym for shooting, apparently. That is absolutely effing terrible. Shooting in the context of shooting star, meteoric, I suppose. But come on. I'm baffled. Megs it, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. Eric. Eric. Distinctive character of crazily shaved boss. So crazily shaved boss. Eric is a hot mess. Eric is a, Eric is a, 
Eric is a joke. <laughs> right, ethos for 22. So distinctive character. Crazy of the crazily shaved boss. <laughs> the crazily shaved boss. So Eric is getting cancelled. We hate him. <laughs> the quote yesterday. Um, lady wearing a king's coat. Oh God, what's happened here? My music's changed. I've gone on so long, my music track has run out. So I'm going to have to stop. But let's finish it. So distinctive character. Okay, the crazily. We do not like words that mean that you have mental health problems used as anagram indicators. Uh, but this is a couple of years old and we're coming away from that stuff. Joe, hello. The crazily is an anagram of the to make eth. And a shaved boss is we're getting our boss and we're shaving off the outside. So we're ending up with OS. So ethos is distinctive character. And we are making him by crazily making, arranging the, which we don't like, it's crazy. And we're shaving our boss. So we're left with OS and we get ethos. <laughs> Joe, Joe, this stream, man, I tried to do, I tried to do a, 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 an introductory crossword and apparently quip, quip ticks are worse than the everyman. So, so um, it started off well, a bit descended into me staring at the screen, not knowing what the, I was doing. Pay out odds on final. So what is this? Um, is spend. Payout is spend. SP on final. Odds is SP. Lady wearing a king's coat was Anorak. When Nora was a lady. Yeah. Give it give me a break. I don't like those. Anyway, someone explain why SP is odds. Because I don't know. I don't know. 26 across. All oh, right, is it um, it's something to do with horses? Um, so SP is the starting price or the odds on horse racing. So odds, SP, and then final is end, which I got before um, to make end. Spend is payout. Meteoric is rough. No, I couldn't have known. I couldn't have known, man. Don't blame me. It was the other three. Okay, 40% of curriculum. This is going to be a pain. So in it's sleep inducing. So something that is sleep inducing to write a note on 40% of curriculum. Now, when these clues say 40% of something, they're pretty often just saying take 40% of the word. Now, curriculum is 10 letters. So we just want four letters. So it ends in an M. So we're going to put ULM. That's the 40%. Write a note. Write a note. Pendulum. Pend. I've penned something. Is that right? No, pen is right a note. Pendulum is sleep inducing. So it's sleep inducing a pendulum. To write a note is pen. Where am I getting my D? 40% of curriculum is ulum. The end four letters of curriculum because curriculum is 10 letters. So 40% of it is four letters, U-L-U-M. Where am I getting my D? Is it just pen, pen, P, N, D to write a note? I don't think it is, is it? To write is pen. Oh my, my D is a note. My D is a note. To write is pen. My note is the letter D because it's a musical note. I don't think I've seen that before ever. Oh. Guys, just don't do crosswords. Don't do them. Why are we doing this? Honestly, if you've been watching this video for two hours, two and a half hours, the moral is just don't. Don't put yourself through this. But if you do want to, then follow me on Twitch. 
where I do crosswords with some friends. <laughs> oh, why? Old friends can be precious. Old friends. Is it starting with an O? Oh, it can be precious. Friends. Old friend. Oh, friend. Single, singular. Mate. Buddy. I'm not your friend, pal. Pal. Opal. So it's O for old. Pal for friend. And an opal, of course, can be precious. Opal. The way that I got that, do you know why I just got that? There's there's an episode of South Park where they've got Terrence and Philip and they're like, I'm not your buddy friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy pal. So you go through those and get a word that means friend and I get I got pal from that. <laughs> those damn Canadians. <laughs> why? Who wants to do this big old long 14 letter clue to solve our puzzle? Achievement to keep quiet during a conservative eulogy. Well, I think that achievement is going to be our straight, free, straight clue. And I think we've got enough letters to see that this is accomplishment, right? A-C-C-O-M, a accomplishment, right? Achievement. So keep quiet during a conservative eulogy. A Accomplishment. Hello. Panda puppet. Oh, of course I know who you are. My brain sometimes. Right. So how do we get accomplishment? I can't click my fingers, by the way, and I keep trying to do it, but I can't do it. I don't know why I'm doing it. Like click, click, click. I can't do it. I can't click. I'm crazy. I've gone crazy. This this, this, this this was a bad idea. Why have we done this? Let's all go. Let's move. A right. I don't. Can someone in the chat that knows about crosswords that better than me explain why? Okay. My I can kind of sort of do this a little bit, right? So quiet is often on a quiet is shh. S H. Look, quiet. Shh. So quiet is SH. I've actually gone mad, haven't I? I think I have. Con so con during, during is contained within. So we've got a conservative. Is Tory Com eulogy? Compliment. Compliment. A conservative. A C. A conservative is A C. Compliment is eulogy. And keep quiet is contained within that. So A conservative compliment is A C compliment. And then we put shh inside it to make accomplishment. Apparently a eulogy is a compliment. We're all mad here. Peachy, I promise you there's people in the chat that are very good at, 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 um, at cryptics and better than me. Joe, Joe is great. Joe streams oh, cryptic key too. Well, sometimes civilization, but also cryptic. Guys, I was going to do two puzzles, but I took so effing long doing one puzzle that I was supposed to be using as a, as a, as a intro to crosswords. That I don't have time. In fact, I'm probably going to be late to get my glasses. So, thank you, everybody. I I, don't, I haven't got time to go and see whether I can raid anyone. I'm just going to have to say bye. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks for being here, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon.